Oh, oh my god. god. Literally look at all that meat. Like mugwort cake, which I've never heard of before. You gotta eat it while it's still moving. Yum. Here's what it looks like. I could eat this for the rest of my life. All right, the hair is up, which means it's dinner time and we are eating raw marinated crab today. I don't know where the accent came from. I have been craving raw marinated crab since I literally got to Korea, so I'm actually so excited to eat. Oh my God. It's so pretty. It smells so good. Wow. I'm gonna try ordering. My mom took my line. <laughs> Oh, that's I love quail eggs, guys. These are so good. These are literally my favorite, one of my favorite side dishes in Korea. All oh, these side dishes look so good. Wow. Yo, oh, this looks so good. Wow. So you want to keep a little outer layer of like rice in there so that's what's going to get all crusty and crunchy. And we're just going to pour this in. It's going to become nuringji. Here's my crab. We're going to take this out with the tongs. <gasps> wow! The other leg. There's a bunch of marinade in here. You spoon it out and you pour it into your rice, which I know you guys can't see from the angle. Take the rice, mixing up all that sauce in there. Oh my god! Oh, it's so good. Bro, it's so good. You got ginger jelly fish, Mario? Okay, we're gonna try the jellyfish. Mmm, mmm, it's spicy. Sorry, I can't get it out. Mmm, <laughs> there we go. I got it. <gasps> Yo, guys, look at this. Look at this. Wait, I need to focus. Literally look at all that meat. Like, incredible. Oh, it's spiky. Dude, hear me out. Mm. Would this not make such a cute little ring, like, holder. plate ring holder? <gasps> like, you can put your rings on here. What I'm keeping this. Okay, now we're eating this soup, the seafood clam. Some oyster. What is this? What did I just eat? I feel like I just bit into like a ball of sand. You know? Apparently this is called pineapple clam? Sea pineapple. Sea pineapple. Or sea squirt. <laughs> oh. It's really hard. Are you sure it's edible? Yeah. It's like, it's like a rock. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> Sent him back out. Look at this little octopus. Oh my god, that is so cute. Oh my god, that's so cute. <laughs> it's not focusing. It's so cute. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to get a little bit of a little bit of a little 
soda drinkers and that's like I don't drink soda and Hannah's like I don't either and mom was like I don't drink it we'll clean the bathroom with it is it carbonated? yeah cleaning toilet <laughs> it's very common in Korean culture to go to a cafe after like you eat dinner, after you meet up with a friend, literally after anything. So we're at Baker's Garden right now just to grab a quick little bite. Look at the ki- oh I'm definitely getting tiramisu. Wow, this is so pretty. For dessert, we have tiramisu, and then we also have mugwort cake, which I've never heard of before, but we're gonna try this for the first time. This is my favorite dessert. May I have some Hannah? Yeah. Mm, it's so rich. Mm. It tastes like grass, but in a good way. But like better than matcha. Yeah. It tastes like matcha plus herbs. Mm, interesting. Black sesame cream. And then I got a cafe mocha latte. <laughs> oh, so good, guys! Look at this view. <sighs> this is this is it, guys. This is this is the life. This is the Korea life. Mm. Oh my, she's so. I'm gonna get my mom's reaction. No, I mean. You know if they have all the. On the outside, it's gonna be good. We're at like a squid and flatfish specializing restaurant. I, I brought Ayana here because she's never had raw octopus before, in like the sounds like they're still moving. So we're here specifically for that. Also, I'm actually scared to try this. I know, me too. Try it, together. Should we try it. Should we take a photo it's of it and see what it is first? It's like some sort of bug, but like I've never had anything like outside of like snails before. So I'm kind of scared to try it. Ayana's looking it up. Like, what's the Roly polies? You got it. You can do it. You gotta eat it while it's still moving. Oh my gosh. It's so I don't know if I can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Here. Okay. Shoot it thoroughly. Feel the suction cups. It's good. Right? Like nearly as bad as I thought. Oh, mine's like stuck on the plate. Oh my tongue. Yeah. Hey, we have a huge amount of food in front of us. This is kwanga, which is also known as flatfish. We have salmon, of course, the raw octopus, all the side dishes. You can wrap up the fish in peri... peri... Oh my god, I forgot the name of the leaves. Perilla leaves. And then you can eat some garlic with it too. Yum. Oh. So we found out, we found out the bug is a pupa, and we're that's both scared to try. Of the bug, I think. Oh, that's what you meant by it. Yeah, like you know how they like they use as of their life cycle? Mm, okay. Like, I think that's pupa is just the yeah. leaf. Should we try it in its pupa stage? Yeah, what is it though? I don't know. I'm so scared to try it. I don't mean to be like anti my culture. Yeah, it's so part of your culture. I know. Let's do it, let's do it. No Asian hate here. I love Asia. I love Asia. To Asia. Here's to Asia. You have to chew at least 10 times. So according to my mom, it's something they used to eat when they were kids, but it's like supposedly really savory. That makes sense. It's probably not gonna be sweet. <laughs> but apparently people don't eat this anymore. It's like a old thing. Five, five cheese. Your face looks so concerned. Why was it soft? It's, it was soft. It's not bad, but it was like, I thought it was gonna be crunchy. It was not It was crunchy. so soft. It tastes like dirt. 
I love my culture, but I don't like this. I don't like this food. It's not horrible, but I probably wouldn't choose to go out of my way. Well, that's okay. We'll just have you guys. I'm proud of us for trying it. Me too. Okay, time to eat the fish. <laughs> Gorilla leaf. Some flat fish. Get some soy sauce on that, John. A little ginger. A bit of little salmon. I love Asia. I love Asia. It's octopus? Isn't octopus more like... Maybe it is, but they're really small plate, right? Oh, look at this, look at this. <gasps> wait, wait. Okay. Alright, you got it. Big bite. Big bite. I feel like I didn't do it right. I washed it down immediately with the alcohol. Yeah, I actually... You actually it. Yeah. Okay, I'll do it again. I just felt the texture, I was like, immediate. No. Nope. It tastes so natural. Like, earthy. It's 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 fine. You're so Canadian. <laughs> Why? I think my American side would be like it tastes mush like it would just be like mushy, gross, bad, whatever, but you're like natural, earthy. Well, I don't at say one it's with bad. nature. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. You know what? What? It's not bad. It's not bad, but if I didn't know what it looked like, I'd probably eat more of it. I think it's the way that it looks that's bothering me. That's fair. That's so fair. We also got fried squid egg. Is it good? Wait, the face is still on it though. The face? Have you the face? I eat it. I've never eaten the face. Wait, I'm gonna cut it off. Respectfully, I'm a little scared to eat the face. It's easier to eat something when you're not looking at the face with it. We decided to pick up my favorite food, which is kongguksu. It's this one local restaurant here that has like the best kongguksu ever. So I'm gonna be eating that for lunch today. Oh my god. Oh, my god. oh yeah. Salt. Got some kimchi and more kimchi. This place literally I have been going to for kongguksu every single time I visit Korea because they make the best kongguksu. Everything is made in house. Like they make the noodles from scratch there. They make all the kimchi from scratch there. And usually they don't give you this much kimchi, but we asked them to give us a lot because I love their kimchi there. Here's what it looks like. Oh my god. Oh my god. It smells so good. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. I'm so excited. I need a spoon. I need a spoon. Oh my god, I'm actually so excited. Kongguksu is basically like a cold soybean noodle dish and it's like literally my favorite thing ever. Okay, look at the broth. It's like kind of thick. The noodles are kind of thick. And then there's ice cubes in here. The soup is all like creamy. And then I don't know if you can see the noodles, but they're like kind of like wonky shape. Like they're like thick and thin in some areas, like handmade noodles. When you first get kungguksu, it's gonna be really bland because you're supposed to add your own salt to it. And it's like this really thick, like coarse looking kind of salt. So I just kind of sprinkle it on top taste it as you go because there have been incidents where I've made it way too salty. I'm so excited. Guys, this is my favorite Korean dish. Like I could eat this for the rest of my life and it's like the best thing to eat during like hot weather. I'm literally so excited to eat this. The reason their kimchi is so good is because it's called kochari, which means it's like freshly marinated, freshly coated. The kimchi like lettuce slash cabbage part itself is still like very fresh. Oh my god. They make this kimchi perfect every single time, I swear. Cheers guys, here comes the first bite. <laughs> Oh my god, I miss this so much. Oh my god, yo, it's so the kimchi. Okay, if any of y'all have had regular kungusu, you probably think like, dude, you're overreacting. It's not that good. But you've never had the kimchi here. It's actually so good, and it pairs so perfectly together. And because all of this is made like in house, it's like different. It's like unique. It's like different. It's so good. Mmm. <laughs> This broth is so refreshing. Oh my god. It's so good. There's like a hint of sesame in this broth too. They have like sliced cucumbers up in there. I love kungguksu, but I'd only eat it from this place. This local restaurant. They do it so freaking good. Like 
Kungluxu, it bought from H Mart, is not the same. It's still really good, but it's not the same as this place. And their kimchi, I've never had kimchi that is as gassed as this, honestly. I've never bought or made kimchi that is this good. Like they have some sort of secret, like addictive ingredient in there, I swear. It's so good. I swear, 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 I swear,